So my trip to South by Southwest this year started with a quick stop at Driscoll Hotel for a little bit of breakfast food. Then off to get my room, which overlooked Brazos and Six, which is in the heart of everything in Austin. I started off doing a quick interview with the folks at 12 for 12. Chris, it's good to see you, pal. Great to see them. These guys do great work. I'll put a link. Then I was off to check out some activations. So at South by Southwest, companies take over businesses, empty buildings, parks, empty lots, and they create branded experiences within these. They call these activations. So I went and checked out some of the activations at South by Southwest. My first stop was Accenture. One of the big things at South by Southwest this year was XR, which includes augmented reality, virtual reality, mixed reality, all that gets lumped under the moniker of XR. And Accenture was showcasing some of this at their activation. A company with some really interesting technology was HaptX. They had a haptics glove, which was air powered and gave you uh, the feeling and the sensation of actually touching things within the virtual environment. I was able to grab clouds in the VR simulation and squeeze them and feel the simulated lightning strikes on my hand and the rain coming down. It was very cool. And then if you pop downstairs, they were showing off a whole haptics bodysuit, which was pretty cool. Then I got to try out one of their VR pods. You sit in these things and they tilt back and they tilt forward and they turn and it gives you the simulation of gravity and moving and movement in space. Uh, but the other thing that was really cool about it is they had a scent generator. So like when you were flying through a field of flowers, you got the smell of the flowers as well. It was a totally immersive and cool experience. My next stop was LG. LG was showcasing some really cool robots. They had robots greeting you. They have some real feel-good robots that make you happy just hanging out with them. I'm so happy. They had butler robots that help you out with household tasks. They had this robot, which could read your kids' bedtime so stories big. and show the story on its body. They had handheld lighting sticks that could be used to create light shows within a crowd. So you could hang out with the rave robots and wave your stick around. LG was also showcasing that OLED roll-up screen that everybody got so excited about at CES. And I will say the picture was amazing. There were absolutely no artifacts on the screen from rolling that screen up. They also had an automated beer brewing system. So just like the Keurig coffee systems that use the K-cups, you had yeast, hop oil, malts and barley, and different flavorings that you could all add in with these little containers, and it would automatically brew beer for you. How fun is that? Another one that was really cool is they had a similar machine, but for ice cream. You have little flavor cups, and you can just create any flavor of ice cream you want. My next stop was to pop over to Viceland. Viceland had a cool activation in an empty lot and it had cotton candy, roller skating, live music, free drinks. Then there was Cremo. Cremo, I'm not sure. They were handing out their grooming products and giving out free haircuts and shaves to people out of their Airstream. South by Southwest has the Interactive Festival, the Movie Festival, the Music Festival. They also have a gaming festival. And this year they had a big wellness convention where they were showcasing all kinds of wellness products, including lots of CBD-based products. Cannabis Now had an activation there where they were showcasing a lot of these hemp-based products. They had a wall of terpenes for you to smell. And they had a lot of giveaways and it was a very enthusiastic crowd. They said they were smoking hemp, but I'm not entirely sure. Torchies is known for their tacos in Austin. They were building a mini home as a pop-up in a parking lot. It's amazing the things that get built for the 10 days that South by Southwest is running. A quick walk down to Austin's famous Rainy Street had lots of additional activations. There was the Twitter activation. There was the Snapchat activation. Canada even had an activation. Shazam was there to charge your phone. And there were long lines. Sony had another activation this year in the same location they did last year. The most interesting thing I thought at their activation this year was the Ibos. These are robot dogs that exhibit some of the same behaviors as real dogs. They get to know you and they learn you. And all that information gets uploaded to the cloud. So if something happens to your Ibo, you can just download it into a new Ibo. While I was there, a police dog showed up and it was not happy with these robot dogs. I guess dogs just don't like robots, but I think we learned that in the Terminator movies, right? Dell had skinned an entire building and I would love to tell you what they were doing inside there, but for the second year in a row, try as I might, I could not get in. SAP had an interactive projection mapped basketball experience, which was drawing quite a crowd. 
a lot of the movies and TV shows had activations as well. Pet Cemetery had folks walking around in a funeral parade. The Game of Thrones had a Bleed for the Throne activation. Good Omens was everywhere with people playing demons and angels and people walking around with the end is nigh signs. At their activation, they had real puppies to help ease you through the end of the world. So there's a ton of walking at South by Southwest. My feet were killing me and I was exhausted by the end of the day. Fortunately, this year, there were scooters around to help you get to places in a timely fashion. While they literally littered the street, they were awesome to have around. So at the end of the day, I went out for dinner. There was some music streaming out of every storefront you walked past. And I went to dinner at a restaurant that was featuring some live music. True to the mantra of keep Austin weird, someone rode in on a mule. That's just Austin. But it was an awesome trip and there's more to come. Stay tuned for part two. So I have blisters on my feet. I'm completely exhausted, about to fall over. So I'm packing in for the night, losing the light. Another same day at South by Southwest.